What's going on YouTube? Thanks for checking out the Electron Microscopy channel and let's get right into it. Today we've got a slice of carrot and I've skipped over all of the preparation for your viewing pleasure. I will make a video in the future detailing the menu that you see on the right and all the possible options. And now we have the first image. Now I'm reorienting the sample so that we can get a better image of it. And adjusting the focus and brightness to get the optimal image. Please do note that this video is sped up by two times. So everything that you see here actually happens half as fast as you see it. But there's no reason to make the scanning process take 30 seconds when, with the power of technology, you can speed it up. Notice how when we look really closely, the radiation actually starts to interact with the sample, and thus you can see the black dots begin to appear on the surface, even though they hadn't before. In a moment, I'll zoom in some more to try and get a good picture of them, but it won't really work. As you can see, the image quality is not optimal. And now zooming out, you're able to see the square, which we were looking at earlier. because it has all of those black dots and the area outside does not. Now I'm relocating to look at something else. I want to make a measurement of how large that object in the bottom right is, and I think it was approximately 46 micrometers. But due to the recording software that I'm using, that didn't show up since I'm only capturing the actual viewing window. Now 
Now I've changed my detection mode so that we get a different kind of image of the same area. This image detects the electrons that are scattered back off of the sample. Here's a good, well-focused image of the surface of the carrot. And you'll also begin to notice some of those small black dots appear on the surface if you look hard enough. They become more evident here. And even more evident here, you can actually begin to see them rise out of the surface of the carrot. Now after zooming out all the way to locate my position relative to the sample, I've gone to the other slice of carrot. You'll notice from the brightness that it is also charging up quite rapidly. And once again, you'll begin to notice the dark spots appear on the surface of the carrot. I've identified the end of the carrot. I'm about to observe what differences there are, if any. And also change the vacuum mode so that I can take a live video rather than scanning the sample.
Now because I have adjusted the vacuum to contain less air, I am able to do a live video feed of the sample. I can switch between live video and scanning at will. I just change the accelerating voltage so that I get a better image while using live video. And you'll notice that the actual surface of the carrot starts to expand as I radiate it. Also, because of the charging of that thin slice of carrot, it wanted to move toward an area of net positive charge since we were radiating it with electrons which carry a negative charge. You will also notice once again as I zoom in here that the surface of the carrot begins to expand presumably due to the liquid inside boiling. With that done, I decrease the accelerating voltage. Cancel the electron beam and terminate the recording. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to leave advice on future videos in the comments, as well as your own ideas as what I should look at. I will see you in the next video.